takeaways from uh, day two? Um, the guys uh, are coming out and attacking, really respecting how the group is um, answering the challenges. Now it's kind of like the honeymoon, right? So we're all excited, day two, beginning, new crew, new defense, new staff, all that stuff. Um, so we're building this culture all together, coaches included, And but I am excited about the direction we're going. How different is it from your perspective, even of the interior of the defensive line, when you have three guys back, two transfers, two freshmen, seven different bodies compared to the screen? Yeah, ex- really excited to have the individuals we have. Um, to be honest, and it's, and it's always like this at this level of play, it's difficult to assess those guys with no pads on, you know. So sometimes guys look uh, a lot better like an underwear Olympics, and we'll find out probably a lot more building starting tomorrow when we get into um, some – we're going to have some pads on, I believe. So start finding out up front what we're really um, made of. Jim's really crediting Brandon quite a bit by way of doing this thing of – what he's done this offseason, what, what have you seen from him? Yeah, he's, uh, he's worked for it, and um, I think he's, um, he's got definitely um, tunnel vision focus on what he wants to do this season. So um, the challenge is doing it one day at a time. So I know his sights are set on some really big goals, and um, I think um, that's our job along with him to really understand the importance of attacking it on a daily basis. What do you see? I think, I mean, shoot, I could be here for a couple hours probably per individual. So um, we all have a long ways to go, a lot of improvement ahead. Um, but there's some things, you know, he offers us some versatility. So he's someone that um, we can tax um, if he can handle it mentally, you know, in some multiple spots on our defense because of that versatility. You know, he's a bigger guy that can move well. So. Once again, once we get our pads on, we'll start to find out a lot more about him and everybody else in our defense. At media day, Noah called Justin the team spirit animal. In what ways does that show itself out there? Okay. Um, I know of five Justins. No, Flo. four. Flo. Flo? Yeah. Okay, the, what'd you call him? The, he was the team spirit animal. That's what Noah said. Spirit him. animal? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know what he means by that. <laughs> just that the, he's probably just embodies the identity of, of the team. Okay. I, I'm not sure. We, we haven't been talking a lot about spirit animals in the defensive <laughs> meetings, so I, I don't know. In, in what ways is, is kind of Justin kind of showing his personality that he has out there on the field and also Justin and Noah together, what, that, what that's like out there having them both there in the middle of your defense? I'm excited to have his presence. You know, he's someone, um, it's a uh, 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 thing I love about Justin is we got to constantly tell him to, to um, slow down and I'd rather do that than have to demand someone every day to speed up. So he's a guy that you got to constantly remind to slow down. Um, sometimes a walkthrough looks like it's fourth and one with the game on the line. Um, but I love his intensity. I love his mental focus. And i um, really excited about the potential that he can serve in our defense. Noah what brought up the guys? importance of improving his coverage uh, skills. Just what, where do you see that? Uh, where does the improvement have to come? And how has mm-hmm. he done so far in yeah. season workouts? I think he, he's challenged himself, so if you just look at his body and his body weight, he's really committed to that. So, you know, he's a guy that can move from point A to point B with a lot of speed and violence. Um, and he's a guy that has some versatility to his game, really, uh, as well. So, um, you know, we, we're, we put a lot at, on that position at times of what he needs to do, you know, from a coverage standpoint. And he's been doing a nice job of um, answering those for us. Coach Lane wanted to see a little bit more uh, toughness. Did that come out today in practice at all? Did you notice? Um, I think uh, it was really good to see how the defense responded at the end after at times giving up way too many explosive plays to finish. Um, however, again, I think a lot more will be telling as we get pads on. Yeah, you mentioned the honeymoon phase a little bit. So does that end when pads go on in your mind a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Or, you know, it's still first day of pads, so we'll be really excited. And, uh, you know, so will everybody else in the country that gets that day. Um, and then we'll find out. I think toughness will, will come along with as you do it each day. You know, can we wake up? Can we come to the meetings with the right intensity? Can we have the attention to detail that's required? Um, can we mentally lock in when we need to? And then when we go out in the field, can we execute it with a some physicality and violence. You said had three freshmen in the secondary over the summer. Just curious in terms of corner versus safety for each one for Kamari, Trajan, and Tucker. Just where are you lining those guys up first? 
Yeah, I think uh, it's important in this defense, you know, what we do, uh, there's a lot of variety we ask of these guys. You know, we're a multiple defense, all right? So we're not going to typically play a guy at one position. You know, we want to move him around. It, it, it can tax him mentally at times, um, but we want to find out how do we get our best 11 on the field. You know, that, that's to me, in my opinion, of what a, what a good coach and a good program can do is, you know, utilizing their best 11. So um, per situation of football, uh, whatever that requires, we're going to do our best to put the best 11 out. What's your philosophy on leading on freshman touch? They realize further away from the ball, generally the faster they can possibly see the field. So you had the luxury of not having to do that a lot since Marlon and Minka, and those were first round picks. So what's your philosophy in terms of how soon freshmen really can be thrown to the lines? Yeah, I wouldn't agree with you as far as, you know, at the tradition where I was at, the, the place you mentioned, we played true freshmen all over the place. So. It's going to come down to, again, who can handle it mentally and who the best on the field is. So, you know, if there's a, if there's a younger guy that can uh, um, offer us an advantage, he's going to play for us. And then it's got to be my job and the coach's jobs so that, you know, we make complexities clear. As you start day after day and eventually weeks after weeks, how do you evaluate progress during fall camp for, for the defense? I think uh, we, we challenge them every day to operate to the standard. So, you know, in the spring ball, been a lot of positive reinforcement, right? Um, again, now we're, we got a reality check, right? So now we're going to point out um, what's not to our standard, and we're going to celebrate what is. So you guys had referees out there today. How active were they? How active were the referees? Um, I think they uh, executed their job. There was a lot of flags. More, more than you'd like. Okay. <laughs> you know, but you know, both sides of the ball. You know, we're going to try to replicate game day. Um, in every possible way, and that's that's another one right there. And adding Casey and Jordan, I know obviously the relationship with, with Tony there, but what do you see from two veteran guys we have had in the D line at the transfer board? Excited, you know, and mostly too about the additions to our culture with those guys. So those guys have done everything we've asked of them from a nutrition standpoint, what they're doing in the weight room, on and off the field, um, and now on the field. Now again, We'll find out a lot more as we move forward in camp. So hard to assess right now, you know, where we're at from that standpoint. But definitely love them as people and having a part of this program. Really excited to be coaching them. At what point do you start Last implementing a uh, game plan for UGA instead of more uh, general install for defense? Yeah, we're, we're major focus on us right now. You know, so that's that's kind of sacrilegious for us. We're so far away from where we want to be. Um, you know, head in that direction, but. We're we're not referring to any other team. You know, it's all about us, and it's about how we can improve. Um, morning, afternoon, we're going to go up and correct this film right now as an entire staff. We're going to go right back in and, and coach our asses off in the meeting room to improve. So that's all we're focused on right now. Thank you, coach. All right, now have a good one. Guys, that's going to be it today. Coach Dillingham, next time we come up, we're going to try and get him on Monday instead with some offensive guys.